What's going on guys? We're back out here on the Mississippi River hitting backwater channels as well as we're going to be going on to the main channel hitting some wing dams. Trying to catch some fish, trying to do like a little harvest action. Should be a good one. We got about 80 degrees right now. Wind's coming out of the south about 5 to 10 miles an hour. So staying a little bit cool. Let's we'll see what we can get into. Should be a good one. Let's get it. All right. My plastic I'm going to start with. Pull them out and show you. Little Kalen's purple kind of minnow. Let's see what it says. Triple tickle tail. Triple tickle tail. Here we go. Looking good. Here's a fish. Oh. Little gilly. This is what I was afraid of. Just got my first walleye of the night, and it's a nice one. Oh, easy, buddy. Easy, bud. All right, there's a nice walleye. Look at that. All right, let's see what we got here. Nice 20 incher. We're harvesting. small perch and a couple gillies and then get a nice ball light. That baby hit on a nice little minnow imitation plastic. There's so much like little minnows like this right now in the water. Just copying them and everything's hitting it. 20 inch are probably the the longest that I would keep. eater perch right there 11 incher perfect all right well that was for about a half hour 45 minutes we're gonna start hitting wing dams for a little bit it's 510 right now so we're gonna go hit a wing dam a couple wing dams for Maybe an hour and a half and then actually come back here. Hopefully it picks up at night. Be a nice little aquarium fish right there. That thing is sweet. Alright bud. Not later, dude. Oh, no, another one. Okay, one more cast with the worm. If I catch another one, ain't gonna be pretty. Oh, no. Oh no. Next spot.
Nice gilly there. Eight incher, perfect eater. I mean, hey, if I can get into those eight inchers, I'm keeping them. Eight incher. All right, well, pulled a couple gills there. On to the next spot. Beautiful little night out here. And we got ducks flying all over the place. Starting to get me into the mood. All right, starting to quiet down a little bit here. I'm going to bleed these fish out. Two of them that got hooked deep are already dead. Just going to cut these guys' gills. Toss them back in. Right there. All right, guys, we're back at the house. It is the next morning, actually. Uh, got back a little late and just tossed the fish on ice. Gonna be trying something a little bit different with the walleye. I'm actually gonna try grilling it on the half shell. I've never tried it, nor did I see too much on the internet of people trying it, so might as well give it a shot. So we're gonna flay it up just like we usually would, except uh, the last part of taking it off the skin, we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna leave the scales on also, and then uh, we'll get the grill fired up, give it a shot. I also bled this dude out as well, so he should be perfect. Nice and cold still. And here comes the bees, who would have thought? Man, good looking piece of walleye right there. All right, I got my other fish cleaned up there. Took the skin off the one side of the walleye because we're just gonna try it. We're just gonna try one side because I'm not sure how it's gonna go. But anyways, before I do it, I'm just gonna take the pin bones out. You can kind of feel them right here. Try not to take too much meat off. sideways I should just kind of pull out there we go I also might make uh, just some slices kind of like that so that when I season it and butter it everything will get into the crevices Gonna be cooking at 400. All right, here we go. See if we can do this quick. I got everything cleaned off. I know, honey. We got kids crying. Got uh, both sides really cleaned off well. Sorry, dried off well. And all we're gonna do is keep it simple. A little olive oil. And then we're gonna do some danos. And some Cajun. Some Cajun, baby. Got the grill going up to 400. We're just gonna make sure that it's nice and oiled. There we go. Probably give it like five minutes and then I'm actually gonna brush some melted butter on it keep it kind of moist after five minutes and then we'll check it and just kind of go with the flow. 
Got a feeling it might be really good or depending with the skin and scales on it might be kind of fishy. We'll see. It's been five minutes. Looking pretty good already. We're gonna get some butter on it. Let it keep going another five minutes and we'll check it again. It's been another five minutes. Add a little bit more butter. And I think we'll give it five more minutes and then we'll check it. I'm guessing it's gonna be done by then. Oh yeah. Look at that. Looking good. Look at all the juices come out already. All right, so there we go. There's our walleye on the half shell. Looks good, smells good. Should come right off of the skin there. Oh, that is phenomenal. Nice and flaky. Good? I'll show you guys that it's like super easy to take off the skin. So there's the skin. Let me just kind of peel this little part off. See how it just flakes off? The skin's below it. We don't want to touch the skin though, because I'm sure it'll be fishy. Look at that big old bite. Ooh. Why you get it? You can definitely taste the smokiness on it. It's super juicy. I'm sure the butter helped, but it's very good. What do you think, buddy? Good? Here. It's good, isn't it? I would definitely do this again, especially if you got a big filet. Panfish, probably not. Northern could be a ticket, because then you could take the... <laughs> she don't like it. She don't like something. Northern could be good also, because you could just pick the Y bones out once it's done cooking. So chunky too. I mean, it's like lobster. Here's the aftermath of it, guys. I kind of like left the bloodline area a little bit just because it's a little bit fishier, but this was awesome. You guys definitely got to try it if you haven't. I was kind of skeptical at first because it was walleye. You always hear like redfish on the half shell, but I've never tried that. But I kind of wanted to char on the actual fish side versus the skin side, but this worked out perfect because all the juices kind of just went down to it and then that skin helped everything kind of stay, uh, you know, it didn't drain out, so. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check it out if you haven't. It's super good. Thanks y'all for watching. Take care.